Hello everyone, it's Helder here. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a badass piece of uh, self-defense and combative equipment. It is the uh, CQC-T by American Tomahawk. Uh, you want to talk about quality, uh, this is it. The uh, craftsmanship, the material, uh, the experience that's gotten into the design. Um, these Tomahawks have been serviceable for our military since the uh, Vietnam era war. And of course have uh, built upon that. And here we have our uh, CQC-T. The handle on it, right, these uh, rings that are on here need to be serviced every once in a while in court, according to the manufacturer, but uh, they're awesome as far as retention uh, with the grip, whether you have gloves on, hands are wet, bloody, muddy, uh, it just feels right uh, the way that, uh, that you could grip it and make it an extension of your hand or an extension of your body. Um, the way that it's balanced, uh, the way that it feels when it's moving around, uh, I mean, it's hard to explain uh, until you guys get your hands on it. So this tool has two main purposes. One is to uh, tear shit up, and the other one is to bash shit in. But without proper training, and uh, we utilize the, our stay, uh, training tools all the time, right? Our rattan sticks uh, will uh, bring in our um, training axes, all right? Which gives us a little bit more of the maneuvers that we're getting uh, with the tomahawk as far as being able to reach out and pull in and just little nuances. But nothing's really going to prepare you. None of these sticks or, or training tools are going to prepare you for what this tomahawk has to offer, and that's why you need to put in a bit of work with the actual uh, tomahawk itself and develop those nuances. Make it an extension of your body. Prepare, prepare, prepare. It's not just about buying high-speed gear, spending a ton of money, throwing it in your pack, and having that false sense of security that you're good to go. I know I harp on this a lot, but, you know, it's also a responsibility. So make sure that you go out there, uh, get a good coach, get the information, make it part of you. If not, you're just going to be a liability with a cool tool. Now, this tomahawk also comes with a uh, sheath. Uh, people complain about this sheath. They're having uh, issues with it, that they're cutting it up. Of course, you got a super sharp tomahawk in there, so it's going to be hard to uh, find something that's not going to be destructive. Uh, it's reinforced on the inside uh, to try to help protect it a bit. Uh, you can put it through your butt loop. Uh, you can hook it up to your molly gear. Uh, you, if you hook it up to your butt loop, it kind of hangs on the side of your leg. Uh, it's pretty uncomfortable for me. Uh, not how I would deploy it. Usually I just have it hooked up uh, via the molly gear uh, to the outside of, uh, of my pack. And it's usually good to go uh, that way. But once again, you have multiple choices. It's, uh, it's up to you and uh, how you practice and how you uh, plan on uh, implementing it. So American Tomahawk is made in the USA. Uh, this is a little bit over 13 inch as far as the, uh, the handle length. You have the uh, business end on one side. X end on the other, uh, weighs uh, about 16, pound, uh, 16 ounces, so about a pound, and uh, one again, once again, just uh, great quality, uh, super well balanced, and uh, you know, something that, uh, that I enjoy having on me in uh, emergency situations, to say the least. I will uh, list all the specs in the blog post as uh, usual, so make sure you uh, take a look at that, and also where to purchase. Uh, they're available in a lot of places, but uh, when you order them, it seems to be on back order all the time. If you have the need and the budget and willing to put in a, a lot of training time, this could be a great choice for you. Hope you enjoyed this review.